Ladies and gentlemen, please rise as we make welcome Ong Gong King. Of the greatest Nigerian student, a Bacchus Nigerian student, articulate Baba, articulate Bobo. I came to talk. I came to gist. I came to swagger. I came to ginger. I came to vibrate. Fundamental force. Samsung Akatel Boy Streams of Joy Yoy Yoy Jerry Riri Fundamental Posa Oya Kulu Kulu Trouble has come Today pick your Bibles up Psalms chapter 90 verse 12 I'm sure they'll project it Psalm 90 verse 12, one scripture, then we'll do eschatology and go. Cool. The Bible says something, it says, teach us to number our days. That we may apply our heart to wisdom. Teach us to number our, our days that we may apply our hearts to wisdom. The word teach means to educate somebody. The word wisdom is the application of knowledge. So let's rearrange the words. So it will read properly as, educate us to what each year of our age means so that we can walk in the understanding of the knowledge of what we should gain. The responsibility of God's word is to show you what you should do at each particular age. I don't like people deceiving me that, uh, that it, when is your time, is your time. There is a time according to scripture. And we are going to open it. Because if a man of 50 years old were to walk down here and wear pampas, there would be a problem. Do you agree with me? If a woman of 60 years old wears school uniform and is in grade one, it will not, it will be a concern. Yes. Because when I went to Federal Government College in Janiki, Lagos, between 83 and 89, I was really, really excited. And the high point of being in school was inter-house sports. Because at that point in time, all our colleagues were all together. We do together, we fight together, we scatter everything together, and we run. And there were two particular races that were interesting at that point in time. One was the 100 meter senior boys. Now, 100 meter senior boys will reveal the fastest runner in school. No, be so. And everybody is looking forward to that race. You want to know who the fastest person. Now, that particular race will show a lot of dignity. Whoever comes out is for dignity. Then there's another race. They call it the 100 meters daddies. All the daddies will come around 100 meters. <laughs> uh, then we'll start laughing. That race is for entertainment. The first one is for dignity. The second one is for entertainment. Do you understand me? If you do not apply yourself to dignity now, you will be somebody's entertainment too tomorrow. Because if you go to Ishigate now, you will see men that are supposed to have been learning how to write in secondary school, primary school. They left those classes. Today they are carrying maca to write on people's car to give them money. <laughs> they are called Agberos. When they were in school, they said, read, apply yourself to education now. Now they are not doing that because of time that has left them, they are running 100 meters daddy. Question one, what are you doing with your time now? Time is the common gift from God to everybody. We may have different shapes, some are tall, some are short, some are fast, some are thin, but yet we have one common denomination, and that is time. Time is universal to everybody. A rich man and a poor man have the same 24 hours, but what you do 
with the time is what differentiates. Nobody was born rich. We were all born naked. It is what you do with your time that matters. The government is not responsible for your success. For as a man thinketh. If the Bible says for as a man thinketh, they did not say as your father's school fees payment came. It did not say because you are in Umar here. It said as a man thinketh, so you are. You are trapped in your location because of your medulla oblongata. Uh, whether you like it or not, you cannot stop time. Time is on the go. But you can control time. 24 hours in a day, you can't stop it. But you can decide what happens in that time. Time is like currency. You can spend it. You can spend it to become rich. Or you can spend it to become poor. It is what you choose that matters. I look at myself and I tell myself that I will not devalue time because time can be devalued. In the book of Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6, the Bible says that unto us a child is born. Children are born. But it says, for unto us, a son is given. There is a difference between somebody that is born and somebody that is given. Exercise is what happens. Now, I will take you into some eschatology. Between the ages of zero to five, a baby is called a child. When you get to six years old, you are moved from six to 12 years old. You are now a boy or a girl, according to scripture. Now, this is when in the Bible, Jesus used to go to the synagogue to read. Jesus would go there to read. At the age of 12, he opened the Bible and he said, today, this scripture is fulfilled. He was studying every single day. No problem. At the age of 13, there is a celebration they call the Bar Mitzvah. That is welcome to manhood. Every Israeli that goes through that must stand because that is when they welcome you into a man, into being a man. At the age of 13, they celebrate you. Biologically, puberty he enters your life. And at that point in time, when you are a, when you are a man, a, a, a young a young teenager, your voice amplifies, begins to bring out hair. Your voice changes. Women, their glands begin to change and form in different. At the age of 13, so from the age of 13 is known as foundation years. That is when you begin to aspire. When you begin to look at things, I want to go far. I want to go east. I want to go west. I want to become a doctor. I want to be an architect. I want to be like RMD. Begin to dream at the age of 13. But when you begin to say things like that, your mothers kill your voice. Your fathers kill your voice. Your brothers kill your voice. So every time you open your mouth, they kill it and it dies and it dies and it dies and it dies. They lock you there in a dead position. Position and make you walk in a certain pattern. Because at the age of 20, whether you like it or not, you are in a decision year. Jesus was walking there and was in that kind of situation. David was in the Bible and in David's time, he was, he was, he was a 13 to 15 year old boy when he was anointed king. He fought Goliath when he was 17, 18. He was not yet a man. The Bible calls him a youth. So by definition, a youth is said somebody from 13 to 19, not the one that we have here. A youth leader is 59 years old. <laughs> when you become 20, it becomes the age of accountability. Numbers chapter 1, verse 2. Let's set the house on fire. If you are 20 years old and you are still in your father's house, it's a shame. <laughs> Hold it. Numbers chapter 1 verse 2. Take ye the sum of every congregation of children of Israel after their families by the house of their fathers with the numbers named everyone. Verse 3. From what? How old? Able to go to war. If you are 20 years old, you go to war. You carry a sword, you carry a shield. It is not your father you ask, should you beat this man? 
If you want to join the Nigerian military or any military anywhere in the world, you only need to be 17 years old. But you need a letter from your father. But once you are 18 years old, you don't need that letter. You can join. If you join the Nigerian army right now and fill up that form, and you go to Kaduna, they'll beat the nonsense out of you, send you to Sambisa Forest, give you a gun, and tell you anything against the state, kill it, anything against the country, take it. If Nigerian government can trust you at the age of 18 with a life armor, with a gun to shoot somebody, why can't you trust yourself to succeed? Because until I saw this, I was not provoked. Give me verse 18. God punished the devil and his mother-in-law. Verse 18. And they said, according to the assembly, let's go down with this word here. The second July said, from how old? Give me verse 20. Look at it. How old? Look at the lower end. You will see it. Lower end. 20 years old. Give me verse 22. What do you see? Give me verse 24. What do you see? Give me verse 26. What do you see? Give me verse 28. What do you see? Give me verse 30. What do you see? Give me verse 32. What do you see? Give me verse 34. What do you see? Give me verse 36. What do you see? Give me verse 38. What do you see? Give me verse 40. What do you see? Give me verse 42. What do you see? Give me 45. 45. 45. 45. Everybody that is 20 years old able to go to war. If you are 20 years old and you are still in your father's house, it's a shame. Stay with me. Because what has happened is that, Mama, our fathers and our mothers, when you are 22 years old, they give you breakfast. You eat rice. You eat beans. You eat it. You swallow. Then you drink some tea, some abacha. Swallow it. Take juice, water, oranges. Pop up, sleep. 11 o'clock, you watch Telemundo, Z World. By 1 o'clock, you are there. They've given you four wraps of pounded yam, solid one. With no fair wearing, you chop. With meat all over, you are pushing the meat to eat. You swallow it. Because it's pounded yam, your, your stomach swells, you sleep. You wake up by 4. You watch Baka being beaten by. Um, uh, uh, you, you, you watch Tottenham destroy this thing. And then you watch Arsenal play. You watch Man you play. You know everything about La Liga. You know everything about Championship. You know everything about Chelsea. You know when Rooney was born. You know when, when Chelsea started. You know the person that is the wife of um, Ronaldo Messi. You know everything about complete football. But you don't know anything about your complete life. By 6 p.m., your sister is back. Because she's doing keto, she doesn't eat carbohydrates. So you only take vegetables and beef. You eat it. Now you say that this food does not work. You go out to town. You take four wraps of fish, croaker fish. Take two bottles of Odeco. You step down. One week, one month, two weeks, two years, three years. On the fourth year, you come to Pastor Jerry. There's a witch in my house. Papa, pray for me. I came to reveal that witch today. Your mother and your sister that gave you free food are the witches. When somebody gives you free food, they stop you from thinking. When they stop you from thinking, they stop you from productivity. Hunger is the gift of God to man. Until you are hungry, you will not look for food. When you feed a man, he stops thinking. Your brain stops when they fill your stomach. If you want to think, stop eating free food. Free food is enmity to you. Say, I hear you. God became angry with the children because he had overfed them with manna that they didn't have manners anymore. They complained that they needed bread and butter. They were tired of beans and rice. So God was angry with them. Numbers chapter 14 verse 29. God was so angry. And he told them that your carcasses shall fall in the wilderness. And all of you, the number of you, according to your whole number. From how old? 
If you are 20 years old, you are responsible to your life. Africanization has killed us. Tradition has wounded our brains. How can a girl at the age of 21 be a billionaire in dollars? She was pitying you. Because once they say a billionaire in daughter, one billion dollars is 360 billion naira. First, she can buy two banks together. One girl, 21 years old. How old are you? When you are 20 to 30 years old, you are supposed to be making mistakes. Jesus was a carpenter. Jesus was a farmer. He went to farm. He knew how to hoe. He knew everything about plants. Every time Jesus was preaching, he was using agriculture. He, was, he knew how to do wood, every single thing. He was going to school. He was going to church. He was reading the scripture. He knew how to study. He knew how to work. If I call you now, what do you know? When you get to 30, 30 means the age of mastery. By the age of 30, you should have been a master in your field. Because from 20 to 30, make mistakes. In school, they tell you that if you get it wrong, you are wrong. Or if you make a mistake, you are wrong. But in life, if you get it wrong, you are right. Because the house where Mr. Success lives is on Failure Avenue. You are permitted to fail. Failure is the pathway to success. When Jesus was at the marriage at Cana of Galilee, they came to Jesus and they said to Jesus that your mother, this was the mother that told Jesus, he said, anything he tells you to do, do it. Because the mother had been seeing him practice at home, turning things around in the house. Anything he tells you, what do you do at home? Jesus was 30 when he started his, his ministry. Joseph was 30 when he became prime minister. David was 30 when he became a king. How old are you? Uh, don't joke with time. Time matters. From 30 to 40 is when you excel in your mastery skills. Because when you get to 40 years old, you are supposed to get... Because 40 means the age of probation. If you work in a company, they give you a letter they call probational offer. That letter is given so that they can check you out. After they've checked you out, they give you a confirmation of appointment. You are entitled to everything. So when you get to 40, you are supposed to be released into the fullness of anything that you know. If you are a fool at 40. So if you want to start your business at the age of 40, you have lost 28 years of your life. Because you are supposed to have started thinking. Visioneering is the first stage of successful business. That starts at age 12. It's not over yet. You can still do it. You are in the right place. Because you can revalue. If you sit under this great man of God and what I heard here, you will upgrade your thinking. Improve your IOS. Stop living in analog system. Hmm. Between 40 and 50 is the age of being an expert. Because by the time you get to 50, you are the peak of your career. I don't know how RMD does it. But we change his name from Grandpa to Glampa. Now, because if you check the book of Numbers chapter 4, from verse 1. Verse 1, 2, 3. Give it to me there. Numbers chapter 4. And the Lord said unto Moses, verse 3. Verse 3 is where I'm going to exactly. He said, no, verse 2. Let's go to verse 2 first of all. Take the sum of the sons of Kohar from amongst the sons of Levi after their families, by their father's house. Ten, verse 3 now. From our old 30 upward up to 50. So you should have been an expert by 30 in any field. And your peak is 50. If you don't get it by 50, it's a problem. So when I saw fathers running at the age of 50, 15 seconds, when my own small son, that boy that I trained, what's his name again? Hussein, I mean, um, Hussein, Hussein Bolt. I trained him. I trained him. Uh, he was born in 1986. Small boy. I am older than that boy by 14 years. But that guy runs only 10 seconds. The whole world knows him. He was exercising. What do you exercise on? Somebody say trouble. trouble. Uh -huh. 
Because by the time you get to 50 to 60, you should start a legacy plan, a retirement plan. Begin to call your sons and your daughters. Start putting them in your business. Show them how. So there's continuity, succession plan. How can a father at the age of 60 be going to look for work as a security guard? There is an error on that son. The Bible says it was not so in the beginning. Ah. Everybody here has value. And you must know your value because if you don't understand your value, you will not know how hungry you should be. Give me Leviticus chapter 27. Let's, let's kill something here. Because you must see it well. Leviticus chapter, 20, chapter 27. It shows that if you are, it shows in verse 3 to verse 4, it says that anybody that is from verse 3 to verse 4, it says, and thy estimation shall be of every male child. From when? 20 years old, even up to when? 60. Even uh, uh, the estimation shall be 50 shekel of silver after the shekel of the sanctuary. Verse 4. And it shall be of the female um, estimation shall be 30. So that means that if you are 20 years old, up to 60 years old, you have the same value. You can't come and tell me that you are 20 years old and you don't have a job. God is rating you the same way he rates me. Your value is the same. You can't come to God and tell him you don't have a job. You should have been an expert by 20. You should have been ready to go to war by 20. The same battle I fight is the same battle you fight. The same battle RMD fight is the same battle you need to be ready because from 20 to 60 is the same amount. If you are a male child, it is 50 shekel. If you are a female, it is 30 shekel. Now, when we begin to say 30 or, or 50 shekel, you may not understand it. The value of 50 shekel now is, uh, is as 360,000 naira. So any time they call your name that they need something you should remove from your pocket 360,000 minimum it's scripture now scripture it's scripture 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 if you are a female you should bring out 216,000 it's scripture from the ages of 20 to 60 your most productive age is 20 to That's 40 good years. That's your productive age. It's scripture. I'm not the one that wrote it. Go to verse 5. Verse 5. Verse 5. Let me show you something. And if it be from 5 years old, 5, 5, even up to 20, then thy estimation shall be of a male. 20 shekel and a female 10 shekel. That is even when you are a small boy, you must add value to the system. If you are five years, if you are five years as a man, your value is $400, equivalent of 144,000 naira. When they call your name, you are dropping that at any time. If you are a female, it's 72,000 naira. It's scripture, scripture. I'm not the one that wrote it. Go to verse, go to verse six. Let me show you something. Verse six, and if it be from a month old, even to five years old, then the estimation shall be of a male five shekel, and that. <laughs> Say I hear you. Um, okay, go to verse seven, and if it be from sixty years old and above. You must still be productive. There is no free food for anybody. When you stand up, you must think positive. That young girl that is 21 years old is making money. I don't know about you. The time has come. I only came to shake the table this morning. Tomorrow, I will break it and remove it. My name is Ubon King and I said, God bless you. Have a fantastic day.